with great power comes great big booty bit. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. Come on. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> 143. That kind of caught me off guard. Um, so first of all, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. This video is probably probably gonna be uh, extra long, and um, if you don't have the time to watch it all in one sitting, um, I don't blame you. It's just uh, you can always check your history, check your library, and um, you know you'll be you, you'll be able to kind of just start wherever you left off. Um, I thought I'd do this video face to face because I figured there might be some stories attached to a lot of the books that I bought and uh, I just you know I didn't want you guys just staring at a comic for a long period of time um, also wanted to get out of the way thank you for joining us on the 9.2 crew podcast that was on Alex the comic hoarders channel uh, I'll be sure to leave a link somewhere on the bottom uh, and then that way you can come check it out not too sure if there's going to be any background noise i do have a fan going on right now so hopefully that doesn't affect the video too much and if it does i'm probably going to just scratch this video ah! anyway lots and lots of books variants obscure variants or variants that people forgot about uh, we're going to look at new comic book day we're going to look at stuff that i just purchased off ebay and um yeah hopefully we'll have fun with this one um but yeah, thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you never subscribe to this channel, and uh, leave a comment. I, I, I try to make sure I answer everybody's comments as much as possible. But yeah, since it's gonna be a long one, let's just kind <clears> of <throat> get into the get into the haul. Um, so speaking of 9.2 Crew, um, we are partnered with um, people like 789. Um, they definitely have a lot of great books. This is the most recent one from uh, Shannon Mayer. Uh, this is uh, Ghost Spider. Oh, maybe that's better. There you go. Uh, Ghost Spider number one from Shannon Mayer. If you go to 789comics.com and at the end, if you leave, if you use the discount code 9.2crew, um, you'll get 10% off. So yeah, this is from 789. Just a beautiful Shannon Mayer. Shannon has been doing a lot of great stuff. Um, all right, so I guess we'll get right into just some of the things that's been going on. Um, I really kind of foresee the uh, star character in Captain Marvel being really something down the future. Um, if you guys are not too sure who star is, it's uh, this person right here. This is Captain Marvel 8. Yeah, um, this is like the second print, but it is her first cover appearance. So um, I really foresee something going down the road with her. Uh, but just to let you know that her uh, first name is actually uh, Ripley Ryan and you can find her first appearance of Ripley Ryan in uh, Captain Marvel number one. I have a couple of covers. They did. They actually did quite a bit. Uh, I think this is a Stephanie Hans cover and I also have the uh, Alex Ross cover as well for uh, Captain Marvel number one. Again, first appearance of Ripley Ryan who eventually becomes star. So if you really like the star character, don't, you know, don't skip on the Captain Marvel number one. I would say if you're trying to figure out which is the main book to get, I would say probably the Adam Hughes Virgin variant would probably be the one to get. Um, recently, this one also came out too. So this is Captain Marvel number nine. Sorry about the glare guys. Uh, Captain Marvel number nine. This is actually her first full appearance of uh, star or ripley ryan as star so a couple of books that you guys can kind of look after um like i said me personally i think she's going to end up being something big again just new comic book day bought this miles morales doppelganger doppelganger cover um just thought it was cool so picked it up um picked up the uh, art germ Connecting? I don't know if I really want to call it connecting. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Uh, there. <laughs> there you go. I guess you could call it connecting. Not too sure, but I just picked these up. Uh, Harley Quinn Poison Ivy number one. 
and um, I think they're both yeah they're both variant covers they're connecting covers but as you could tell not really I don't even know how this goes like that yeah there you go whatever anyway I love art jump um, you can tell this haul is a little bit old because a lot of my new comic book day stuff kind of goes back a while um, you got spawn 300 this is the only one that I picked up it was personally my favorite one out of all the covers um, I picked up this uh, Vampirella Red Sonia Derek Chu I really like this card as soon as I saw it I was like I had to pick it up I think they had this one for about 10 bucks so I figure I go ahead and pick that up really like this one um, I did I did hear about the whole Miles Morales and the whole uh, evil Miles Morales coming back um, but when I picked up the book, I wasn't really so much interested in... So this is the one where, um, I guess, Evil Miles Morales makes a comeback. But I really wasn't so interested in that. I really was interested in this part right here. So, uh, I don't know if that's coming in clear. But there's an origin story of Starling. And so my spider senses kind of went off on the whole, like, why... Why would they do an origin story on Starling? Well, what does Marvel foresee her doing in the potential future? So, because, you know, I'm just one of those guys. When I see something like that happening, I'm like, you know what? There's probably something down the road. So I wanted to make sure that I picked up Starling's first appearance. Um, so just so you guys know, Starling's first appearance cameo is in uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man number five. This is actually her, her first appearance. I don't know if it's a cameo or full, um, but I know it is a first appearance of her. This could be cameo. And you might also want to pick up uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man number six. This is, maybe this way is better, <laughs> Spider-Man number six. Uh, this is actually her first cover appearance and possibly first full appearance of her. So those are two books to definitely look out for if you're really interested in the whole Starling character. Like I said, I just, this is one of those things like why would they put an origin story? Why would they highlight that on the comic? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go find her first appearance. Uh, while I was at this comic shop, I decided to do some back issue, bin diving, just see what they had. Nothing crazy. Um, so I found some of these variants over there. I found, uh, oh, sorry about that. This uh, Inhumans uh, variant number four on this one thought this was pretty cool I got super excited when I saw this one this is Howard the Duck number two variant if you find the colored version of this it actually goes for money but I found the black and white one this really doesn't go for much but I decided to pick it up anyway they were all like all, all of these I found were just like cover price so it wasn't you know no big deal but I picked this one up but yeah that one in a colored version that's good money right there. Um, I guess Captain America, one of those Gwen variants. Just thought it was a cool cover. Decided to pick that up. This one I got really excited about. It doesn't really go for much, but I do love finding these She-Hulks. She-Hulks and Red She-Hulk variants. I love finding them. I'll pick it up. And then, like I said, it was cover price. So this is a She-Hulk number 12 on the variant on that one. So yeah, pick that one up. And then probably one of my favorite I guess artist on covers but doesn't get a lot of uh, attention is um, Sorrentino and I found this in the back issue Secret Empire number three this is the Jane Foster Sorrentino Hydra whatever kind of variant cover you want to call it but I was pretty stoked to find this one so gosh sorry about the glare <laughs> but yeah super super stoked finding this one very happy I actually so happy that I picked up dose picked up dose hold on real quick all right so another uh spec thing that pretty much came out i don't know if it's really a spec but anyway we'll talk about it is um it's gotham girl so i think what was the most recent batman issue that got some attention was it batman 77 or detective comic 77 there was a Gotham girl in there well just so you know first appearance of Gotham girl uh, and I have to thank uh, youtuber Kevin Taylor for this 
but um, this is the first appearance of uh, Gotham Girl. It's just a cameo, but it's the DC Universe Revert number one. Uh, so yeah, just I found it in a back issue bin. I figured why not pick it up. It was cover price. I think this book goes for a little bit, but if Gotham Girl ever becomes something down the road, um, of course that whole death of Alfred issue, I think it's 77. Uh, that and this one right here. Correct me if I'm wrong on the issue for the Batman one. I just bought it like a couple weeks ago. But anyway, this is the first period of uh, Gotham Girl. So just thought I'd let you know. This is the uh, black and white. So this one costs a little bit more if you can actually find it in the back issues. Awesome. Uh, what else we got? So on that same day, on the Wednesday, uh, and I, like I said, this is, this is a while back. But on that same day, I decided to go visit another comic book shop that I love to go to. Uh, that one, usually, they're only back issues. They have no new books. And um, he just laid out a bunch of new $1 books. I think he had about eight or nine boxes. So I decided, you know what, I had some time. Went digging in it. Found some cool stuff, I guess, in my opinion. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to find. So this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 699.1. But this is a second print variant. Uh, again, it, it's a little bit harder to find. It's a really cool Morbius and Spider-Man cover. Um, has a little bit of rain in it, so that's kind of my personal favorite. But yeah, this second print variant, definitely a little harder to find. Found it for a dollar. And uh, the rest of these I found for a dollar too, which I was amazed. Um, I found this uh, Spider-Man 688 cover for one dollar. Super stoked. Um, Found this Spider-Man 671 sought after Mary Jane style cover, one dollar. Um, this one right here is the uh, first appearance of the Future Foundation suit. Again, found this for a dollar. Beautiful condition too. I think all of these I found them in like near mint condition. Um, found this uh, Spider-Man 656 first appearance of the spider armor the well, like mk2 or the mk3 version or whatever um but yeah first appearance of that this is again spider-man 656 found this one found a lot of cool um spider-man books for a dollar obviously <laughs> and this one was also cool this is spider-man 671 first appearance of the new rhino um a lot of those books i just showed you they also have really cool variants as well that go for big money they didn't have the variants, had the regular cover, but they still actually uh, kind of go for a little bit too. So yeah, I found this one as well. So super stoked on finding that. I found a couple of these uh, Curse of Spawns as well. Uh, first full appearance of Jessica Priest. I found two of these in their back issues. Um, I guess the new female spawn. I don't know how many different she spawns have they had now. Like. Is this like the third one, I think? So we'll see what happens with this one. But yeah, this is uh, first full appearance of Jessica Priest. There's actually another Spawn book that goes for a little bit more. It's kind of skipping my head right now. Um, and then while I was there, he actually had some books that just came in. And I figured I kind of asked him what kind of prices he was looking for. And this guy, he knows I buy from him all the time. So he really, really, really hooked me up. So I was stoked on these next three books. Uh, the first one is Eternal Warriors, number four. Uh, first appearance of Bloodshot. Um, I don't know, for some reason, if I can find these and I, I can get them at a good price, uh, I just keep picking them up, especially Near Mint, Near Mint Plus. I'm sure there's a bunch of these out there, but he gave me this for, I think, 20 bucks, which I was really, really stoked about. Um, the next two though, I was really excited that he actually um, let me have a really good price on these. So the first one was uh, Doctor Strange and the Master of Mystic Arts number one. So this is basically the first uh, appearance of the Silver Dagger. But yeah, really, really, really just super stoked on having this one, adding this to my collection. Um, but even better than that, he had this one. So, Doctor Strange, 169. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, first solo story, his origin retold. And, um, yeah, he gave me all of these books for a tremendous, tremendous price. 
like way below what they, he should be asking. I think I got all three. Maybe a hundred bucks, maybe less than a hundred, I think. Yeah, it's been a while, but I remember getting it at a fantastic price. So yeah, cannot thank that guy enough, man. He, he's always really hooking me up and yeah, just, you know, it really goes to show, you know, if you just kind of take care of your comic shop though, they'll sometimes they'll take care of you. I mean, I know they got to make money, but a lot of times they'll take care of you as well. But don't get me wrong, I did some eBay purchases. Uh, one of them I did, I got for like $60, I think. Something like $60. And I thought, man, what a steal. I was super stoked. I looked at the condition of the book. And what I did is when I looked at the eBay picture, I looked at all the corners. Um, I think he had pictures of the, uh, the book itself open and he even had the back cover photos. And they look really, really good. Um, what I failed to look at was that there was writing on the comic book. And when I got it in, I was like, man, I was super stoked. Condition looks really awesome. But then I saw the writing and I was like, ah, oh, I guess I missed that. <laughs> so I guess it is about a $60 book, but I'm going to keep it anyway. So yeah, so Marvel Premiere 15, uh, first appearance of Iron Fist. But you can tell, I don't know who the fuck Dell is, but <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that on the listing it just it kind of skipped me but i want it for 60 so whatever's whatever's I, i'm stoked with it i'm happy with it a little bit it's probably gonna be a little hard to sell down the road but it's okay i'll i'll keep this one i'll keep it thanks del um that was my fault and the other ebay purchase i made this actually has to do with some of the books that i'm going to be showing later on and uh, what it is, it's kind of like variants and just pretty much books that people have forgotten about because there's so many things going on right now. I think the latest news was like Moon Girl and um, Moon Knight and Blade and all of these things that came up. And um, so, you know, it's, sometimes it's good to go back to what was very popular. Uh, you know, not buying stuff necessarily that's really hot right now. I just kind of let that simmer, let that wait, let that, um, you know, make sure that the news is kind of gone. And so originally when I wanted this book right here, this book was going crazy. So this is a Captain Marvel number one, 9.8. This is a variant. And I picked this up for, I think, $60. Slapped. And, um when the whole captain marvel movie news came out anything captain marvel number one anything captain marvel was just kind of going cuckoo um i originally asked the youtuber for a raw copy if he's willing to sell it to me and he was going to sell it to me for 125 dollars which was already over uh what the selling price on ebay was so i was kind of shocked that the person was going to sell it for, to me for that much so i decided to not get it and i just kind of waited but yeah I got myself a 9.8 for $60. So super cool. Captain Marvel number one variant. Very stoked on getting that. And very stoked at getting it at the price that uh, was like basically 50% off what the, uh, the YouTuber is going to sell it to me for raw. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. Um, speaking of YouTubers, I got to thank some people that kind of hooked me up with a random act of kindness. And now I got to make sure I get off my lazy butt and make sure I pay them back. <laughs> Um, I did ask uh, Comic Book Estate, thank you so much, for um, a book. I was wondering if he had it because I just had the darnest time finding it um, on eBay. I just could not find the book. And um, I did see it, but people wanted to sell it only in the lot. And I just wanted to buy that one book because I absolutely love this cover. So CBA actually said he had the book. Um, so he gave me the book, but he also gave me a couple of extras. He gave me these two books, which was very, very nice of him. Thank you, CBA, for these. Greatly appreciate it. But the book that um, that I wanted was this one right here. So this is Black Widow number three. Uh, this is an Addy Granoff cover. And for some reason, you just cannot find this book by itself selling on eBay. Everybody wants to sell it in a lot. I think there's a, what is it, a five-part, four-part. It's a four-part series. Uh, Black Widow number one from this series there's a variant those go for a little bit of money i think all the covers were done by addy ground as well 
but my favorite out of all of them was this number three and um, like I said I just could not find it being sold just as a single issue so CBA hooked me up he told me you know sorry about the condition I wish it was better but I don't know this book looks pretty damn good so I'm not too sure what CBA was talking about but I really like this and the condition was awesome I didn't even care about the condition especially when it comes to a random act of kindness and stuff but um, yeah super so thank you comic book estate appreciate that um, I also got one from Tony Sanders um, I'm not too sure how we came across me looking for this book but um, anyway he gave me one as a random act of kindness super stoked so I got my Spider-Man amazing friends number one this is actually the uh, first appearance of Firestorm showing my age right now I actually used to watch this cartoon like uh, every every Saturday and I absolutely love this cartoon and um, so Firestorm something's supposed to be coming up with her I'm not too sure if it's an MCU thing I'm not too, well obviously an MCU but I'm not too sure if it's a Disney Plus or something supposed to come down the pipeline but um, I know she's gained some popularity and I know this book has gained some popularity so I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss it I I've had this copy, sold it, got it again, sold it, got it, you know, it's so, but this one finally, it's going to be my keeper. So thank you, Tony Sanders for this. Greatly appreciate it. First appearance of Firestorm. So yeah, stoked on that. And um, I also got a tank Gorilla Grodd. He sent me a uh, TMNT 96. Um, what is this? The first full Jenica? as a turtle I forget it's been so long that I've been wanting this <laughs> but I think it's like the first full Jenica as a turtle but uh, yeah so he sent me this issue 96 so thank you Gorilla Grad um, so yeah I, I've said it before and I'll probably say it again and again and again um, you know don't make just eBay and Amazon and uh, my comic book shop or whatever it's called a mile high comic your only places to buy comics <clears throat> some of the great resources you can get is also Instagram and I love going to Instagram uh, one of my favorite um, Instagrammer is uh, comics to sell it's actually one of my buddy of mine's but um, so shameless plug I guess but yeah so he had some books on for sale and then again he just gave me some fabulous prices uh, so this is from Comics to Sell on Instagram. I think it's the next uh, one. Thing, da, 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 da. I think it's like the next four books. So what he had, I think he gave me this for 30 bucks. Um, it's a little dirty, but I just wanted to get it. The only thing I'm kind of bummed out is that it's not a direct edition. Attention parents, what you're about to see is not suitable for kids. Shoot, it's not even suitable for some grown-ups. You might want to walk away now if you ain't into these type of things. And this book did come out in 1979. So, you know, when it comes to collecting, um, there's always two things, you know, you kind of always have to keep in mind, which is supply and demand. For comics, I would say supply, demand is definitely number one. And then number two would be um, condition. So, and this is just my personal opinion. So this one, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but it is a newsstand, which is cool. Some people like it. They say that newsstands never really took care of their books too well. And, you know, that, that might be true. But the other thing, too, is around 79, a lot of the comic shops were still receiving new stamps because they didn't have the direct edition. So in 1979, they actually started making the direct edition. Um, the direct edition, I think, has, I'm not too sure if they, I think it's a Spider-Man on it. So the print run of direct editions during that time was less than 5%. It was, might even have been 3%. So there comes, so the demand for She-Hulk has always been there. It's actually even gained much more popularity since, I think, Disney announced something. Uh, so that's the demand part. You know, like I said, it's always been in demand. Plus, this is uh, Stan Lee's last character that he's actually ever made. So demand is there. Supply, supply is much, much less on the direct edition. So, you know, but for 30 bucks i'm not going to complain first appearance of she hulk kind of went on a rant there sorry about that but yeah anyway first appearance of she hulk this is probably why my videos end up being so long the other one that he had was like this batman lot and man i the last book in this lot i haven't had in a while i had it once and then uh, there was some hype on it and i think i just sold it just to make a little bit of money to buy maybe another book and i haven't been able to find another one but I, they had it on Instagram on Comics to Sell. So he had a little lot with Batman. So Batman 655. You probably know where I'm going with this. So Batman 655. First appearance of Damian Wayne. He had Batman 656. First full appearance of Damian Wayne. But what he had in that lot, the set of three, was this. Yeah. 
Batman 655, the variant. I think this is Adam Kubert. Yeah. But this is the first full appearance, uh, first appearance of Damian Wayne, but the variant. This is the much, much more sought after book. And like I said, I found this, I found this once for like $15. And I actually gave it to, as a random act of kindness to my, uh, one of my buddies, uh, Freddy's 562. And um, I think I've owned it once after that. But yeah, he gave me all these three for a phenomenal price. Had to talk to him behind the Instagram door and see what, if he could hook it up. And he definitely hooked it up. So Batman 655, first appearance of Damien Wayne, but the variants. Oh, super, super stoked. I honestly, I very, I not, mm, let me try that again. Um, Damien's got a bright future. Damien's got a bright, bright, bright future in the DC, uh, just in DC in general. So really, really, I, I feel like him in DC and Kamala Khan in Marvel is probably the two that have, to me, in my personal opinion, the brightest future when it comes to comics. So super stoked, super stoked. Um, so kind of just going back to about you know places that you can buy books and stuff like that well another place you can buy books is actually on youtube there's a lot of great auctions that goes on uh thorough's got one big blc big lion cat and of course the new york waters which sometimes i make like a guest appearance i guess and then i'll sell some of my books i think there was a auction on I want to say Thorough Cubero's uh, station. Shout out to Thorough, uh, your. But um, there was a lot that came up, and I gotta admit, I kind of overspent on the lot. Like, <laughs> and I overspent on the lot because I really wanted the last book. But as soon as I put my bid in, I was like, man, I am paying way too much for this. But it's okay. Um, I think I spent like $150. Collectively, I think all the books are probably $150. But um, yeah, I just, I overspent. I knew I overspent, but that's okay. Um, so what did I get in the lot, right? Let's just get to another question. Well, this was actually a uh, throw-in. This is the uh, Voltron uh, Haze... Uh, what is it called? Hastings variants? We don't have a Hastings here. So Voltron Hastings variants. So I have to thank, um, I forget who I bought this from. Anyway, so I got to thank that person for this. Awesome. So you kind of see where this is going once I show you this book. So Spider-Man 2099. Believe it or not, <laughs> this dollar book has been commanding around $10 now. It's freaking kind of crazy. This is the origin story of Spider-Man 2099. Um, it, it was a dollar book for the longest, but now people are asking 10. Um, this Spider-Man 2099, J. Scott Campbell, doesn't really go for much, right around a $5 book. Uh, Superior Spider-Man, uh, number 17 variant. Again, another 10, maybe $15 book, maybe 20 on a good day. Um, so this one right here, this was also part of the lot. And, uh, but what was part of the lot and the reason i wanted was this spear spider-man number 17 jg jones variant i've had this thing and then sold and had it and so and so hopefully this will be the last time i i get this a uh, beautiful condition thank you and this thing does not pop up too often on uh, ebay but uh this thing just doesn't pop up too often in general so when i saw this on the uh, comic auction on youtube I was all like, man, I got to pick this bad boy up. So super, super stoked to have this again. Jeez, I almost dropped it. So yeah. Um, other things I was kind of like shopping for um, was actually kind of just referencing back to that slap, that Captain Marvel number one slap. So what I was saying about that was a lot of times people, there'll be hype on uh, books. And in this case, I think... We'll probably just talk about um, variants in this, in this, uh, yeah, in this lot right here. So it's usually like a lot of hype, and then sometimes people forget about it. But there's also a lot of books out there, variants that go for money, and not a lot of people know about them. So they're like these obscure variants and stuff that command money. But if you're not in the know, you might just kind of skip over them. So I'll show you some that I found for super cheap because it's the thing about obscure variants is this. It's like since there's not a huge community of people 
that know about these books sometimes these books can kind of go under the radar and if not a lot of people are looking for them then they sell for really cheap but the thing about it is there is a community for these books so when something does pop up people are willing to pay money so it's kind of like a hit or miss with these obscure variants but i'll show you right now so one of them is wolverine 21 this thing does not pop up ever um so this, yeah all new wolverine's 21 variant like like i said this thing doesn't pop up a lot when it does it, it goes for crazy money but i i forgot how much i got this one for but this is just one of those variant covers that um really doesn't come up too often so when i found this i think i found it on the ebay i got it at like a really good price so super stoked on finding this one um I'm a huge Natalie Sanders fan, just kind of like anybody else, and um, but I don't like her new stuff. I kind of always liked her older stuff. So some of the older stuff, and these books, like I said, they go for money, but sometimes if no one's paying attention um, and no one's looking for them, you can kind of get them for cheap, and that's basically what happened to these two right here. I got them way under what people are asking for. Uh, the first one is Ursa Minor, number six. This is the Natalie Sanders. Um, it's just a beautiful cover. So much detail. She's in a coffin. It's just such a great cover. This thing does not pop up too often. And when it does, trust me, people ask for money on this one. So this is Ursa Minor, number six. But the one that I found, and I was super stoked. I actually got both of them from the same guy. And uh, packaging was really awesome. But this is the one right here, Ursa Minor number five. This book right here commands a lot of money. And like I said, I was just able to find uh, both of them at a really, really good price. <laughs> the cool thing is there was one eBay that had both of them. So he was willing to work with me on shipping and even a, a little bit of price as well. So yeah, this Natalie Sanders thing is awesome. Like I said, I love Natalie Sanders, just not really her new stuff always kind of liked her old stuff so i don't know which side is better but anyway there you go so stoked 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 brah stoked brah believe it or not this next variant is not an obscure variant but so many people have been chasing so many other books lately that i actually was able to get this under the radar this joshua middleton batgirl number what is it 21 28 23 batgirl 23 most people know what this book is but like i said everybody's so busy looking everywhere else i decided to, you know what to revisit this book i actually have this on my safe on ebay and one just popped up and it was just like no one was bidding on it so i bid on it and i got this at a really crazy price wish i listed the price down but yeah this one usually people will pay up to upwards of a hundred dollars for this but i think i only got it for like 25 bucks or something so really really stoked on that one i know that one isn't really so obscure like a lot of people know about it but like i said people sometimes forget about stuff this next one is definitely obscure not a lot of people know about this one and when i saw this um i had to pick this up i'm gonna keep it 100 a lot of these right here i think they were all found on ebay but like i said everybody's looking everywhere else P people just forgot about these i guess so this is vampirella countdown to um second coming this is a Jenny Frizen cover that not a lot of people know about. Uh, it's a prototype edition, as you can see right here in the bottom. And when it just popped up, I was just like, I just had to have it. Um, God damn, this glare is crazy. I only use Mylar, so everything's going to have a glare to it. Uh, but yeah, just found this one. Super, super stoked on finding this one. Just happy to have it. Love this Jenny Frizen. Again, a Jenny Frizen book that really not a lot of people know about. But this one very happy um this one doesn't go for much uh this is black widow deadly origins number one this is i think it's greg horn is it greg oh greg land it's a greg land variant so found this one again just one of those variants that it's kind of obscure not a lot of people know about this one doesn't really go for much but um you know kind of highly slightly slightly sought after i wouldn't say it's highly sought after um this one right here hawkeye number one kate bishop we all know great things are coming down the line for kate bishop and then we're actually going to talk about kate bishop a little bit more in this hall um yeah anyway we'll talk about it more <laughs> so kate bishop uh hawkeye number one 
this is I don't know if this is a one in 25 or whatever but you don't really see this thing um, show up it's on eBay a lot it doesn't go for much but I actually found it at a comic book shop couldn't believe it was just there so I decided to go pick this one up love this cover another obscure variant that not a lot of people were looking after Avengers world number three yeah number three this is the Bruce Bruce Lee homage and um, yeah just just one of those books that I just found this one I found actually at the comic shop too is in the back issues um, it doesn't go for much it's an awesome it's an awesome cover an awesome homage to Bruce Lee and uh, yeah super super stoked I love this I mean I don't know if you guys ever seen it this thing's kind of badass like this thing's like super badass um, another one that I found that you know not a lot of people really think about but this is spider-man number one the second print again the second print does not pop out too much and it actually goes for just as much as the first print i think this is a solid 20 dollars if not plus book so spider-man number one the miles morales but this is the second print you can tell because of the whole blue and plus i think it says second printing somewhere yeah somewhere down here it says second printing so definitely a book to look after don't skip on the second printings. Um, they're a lot. They're usually about 50% less than the original printing. Sometimes even lower than that. And so, you know, if the book takes off, sometimes these second printings, or not sometimes, they usually always take off as well. So, yeah, found this one by five bucks. And I think it's around a $20, $25 book. But go ahead and look. You don't see this book pop up too often. Um, other obscure variants is... Um, Vampirella usually has a lot of obscure variants that not a lot of people know. And if you're not into Vampirella, then it probably doesn't even matter. But for variant collectors, um, Vampirella is one of those titles that usually has a lot of cool stuff that people really enjoy, but they have a hard time finding. Um, <clears throat> so one of the that second coming that I showed you, so that was the prototype. So within the actual line, there's actually really cool Vampirella Second Coming um, variants. So this one is uh, number, this is number one. This is one of those variants. Love this one. This is also number one. This is definitely Down David Seeking Near Mint's Alley. <laughs> this one is done by um, Arthur Sudan. This actually doesn't really go for that much, but it's a really nice cover. This one is number three, Joe Jusco. Again, Vampirellas. Vampirellas are always sought after. So, you know, if, if I have to flip them down the road, whatever. Uh, this is number three. This is another one that I like. This is another uh, variant. So everything I'm showing you is Vampirella Second Coming variants. So this one right here. This one I really liked and I was actually surprised it actually doesn't go for money. Um, so this one is number three as well. So you can tell like within the lot they actually did quite a bit of variants. But yeah, I really really like this one and I'm just surprised that this one doesn't actually go for more. I feel like it should. It should go for more. But <clears throat> if you ever see a lot of Vampirella Second Comings. Don't worry about the books that I showed you. The one you want to find is this one right here. This is another Artie Sudam, and this book is hard to find. And this book actually garnishes quite a bit of money as well. This can run, it's kind of weird. Like I said, it's an obscure variant, right? So it's anywhere between 40 to $100. It's like this huge span, and depending if you find it cheap or not. Um, but I found this one at a really, really decent price, so I was very stoked. So this Josh, I always thought this was Joshua Milton, but it's Archie Sudan. And like I said, very, very stoked on having this one. So you remember how I was saying that I was going to talk about Kate Bishop, right? So I hope I remember this story correctly. But um, before the whole Kate Bishop thing, before the whole Young Avengers thing was announced and all of that, <laughs> I was I was always kind of on this Young Avengers kick on the um, on on the down low, and I was all like, man, I need to pick up Young Avengers before it gets crazy again, especially because of Kate Bishop. And so around August 30th, I think, yeah, around August 30th is when I made a purchase of a Young Avengers lot. 
uh, 12 issues for 50 bucks, which is crazy because I think Young Avengers number one sometimes can even garnish about $100. So I found the whole lot. And then I'm glad I did because because it just a lot of stuff just started dropping and stuff. So anyway, just, I'm, I'm glad I picked it up before the whole news dropped out. But um, yeah, I, I don't know about Young Avengers being the next giant size X-Men number one. Some idiot said that. But um, yeah, no. Take it easy. But anyway, if you ever do find Young Avengers books in your back issues and stuff, I'm just going to go through some books you might want to look after. So the first obvious one is Young Avengers number one. Um, this one is the first Iron Lad, first Hulkling, first uh, appearance of Kate Bishop, first Asgardian, first Patriot. So this book right here has a lot going for it. The one you want, I think, is called the Wizard Con. It's kind of a sketch variant. That's that's the creme de la creme for this Young Avengers number one. But right now, all Young Avengers are doing really well as far as number one, even this one as well. So yeah, if you find this, don't hesitate hesitate to pick it up, especially if you can find it. I would say at under $50 is no question. You pick it up. There, there's no question about it. After $50, I'll let you make the decision on that. But yeah, so Young Avengers number one, there's a lot going on in this book. So make sure you, I'm not going to tell you to pick it up, but it's something you definitely want to look after. Uh, Young Avengers number two, this is the second appearance of Kate Bishop. So this is another book you want to, Kind of look after second appearance um, this one is young avengers number four the reason you might want to kind of look into this one sorry but jesus that glare is crazy young avengers number four <laughs> so this is the first kate bishop in her uniform uh, this is the first time in her uniform so you might want to kind of just see if, if you find this I, I think it's definitely worth the pickup i'm not going to tell you what to pick up but yeah young avengers number four uh, Young Avengers number six. This is when uh, Casey Lang becomes stature. It's not the first appearance of Casey Lang. I think her first appearance is in Ant-Man number one, like the new series. Not super new, but like Bronze Age series. So this is a uh, Young Avengers number six. Uh, Casey Lang and stature. That book was actually hot when the whole like Ant-Man movie dropped. I think everybody remembers that one. Um, this one is Young Avengers number nine. So this is the first time we see Kate Bishop in the new uniform, but on the cover. So this is the first time you see her on a cover with the new uniform. Nothing crazy, but just definitely something to kind of look after. Um, Young Avengers number 10. This is the first appearance of Speed. So again, just a book to look after if you're kind of just back issue diving and you see some Young Avengers book. So first appearance of Speed on this one. And this one is actually not really talked about too much, but I think it's definitely something to look after as well. This is the uh, first time that Kate Bishop is called Hawkeye. So this is Young Avengers number 12. So first time Kate Bishop is actually called Hawkeye. So prior to all of this, she was never called Hawkeye. In fact, it's kind of funny. They made some jokes within the comic about how she should just come up with like a nickname already. And, um, but yeah, so this is when she was officially called Hawkeye. So. Yeah, Young Avengers books, uh, definitely something to kind of hold on long term, especially uh, number one. Uh, there's a direct edition of this that doesn't really command that much money, but there is a wizard. I think it's a wizard con that actually commands quite a bit of money, and that's pretty much the book you want. But this one, it's a, it's a good long term hold as well. So definitely that. Um, I know a long video, right? <laughs> it was still going still going but we're almost done um, so there was a couple of artists that came up um, with this recently and um, I'm one of those guys once I see an artist that I really really love what I want to do is kind of see what else work they did uh, the newest artist that I kind of just had this kick on was um, Megan Hitrix Megan Hitrix Megan yeah Megan Hitrix um, what really got me liking Megan Hetrix was this Web of Black Widow number one. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, who's the artist on that? And I found out, like I said, uh, I found out that the name was uh, Megan Hetrix. So what I did is I kind of tried to see what else stuff she did. Um, she did this one right here, this Valkyrie number one variant that I just think is 
freaking phenomenal. I just think this thing is a beaut. Uh, Valkyrie number one. So this one was really cool that she did this one. And some things that she did kind of a while back that I thought was really cool. I always seen these in back issue pins, but um, I didn't know who it was. And so I decided to pick it up. Totally awesome Hulk number four. So this is a Megan Hetrix um, cover as well. So yeah. Uh, I think she's coming out with something really soon too and if I remember I, I don't know if it was Black Widow or if it was Valkyrie but like she's coming out with some crazy stuff so Megan Hetrix is definitely somebody to look after if DC gets a hold of her she's gonna be doing a bunch of B covers <laughs> but right now she's doing Marvel and um, yeah so really really enjoy Megan Hetrix work and I just can't wait to see what else she uh, brings out um, another artist that is not new is um, Yasmin Putri, but um, I kind of forgot about Yasmin Putri. So I actually went back and again, it's kind of like one of those obscure variants thing. So what got me back into Yasmin Putri was actually this uh, Absolute Carnage Lethal Protector. So as soon as I seen this, I was like, I wonder who did the cover for this? And I found it was Yasmin Putri. So I was all like, oh, that's right, Yasmin Putri. I, I totally, totally forgot about her. And I was like, you know what, we, we should go back and see what else she did and see if we could pick some stuff on the down low. And I actually did find some stuff. I found a lot of stuff on eBay that, again, just people forgot about. You know, it's just right now everybody's changing so many other things that some of these things that are really hot and popular, people are just forgetting about. So I'm kind of being able to find these on a real cheap. One of them was actually this um, Red Hood and the Outlaws. So yeah, I don't know if you guys remember this one, but this book was hot for a minute. Um, I was able to find this one right here. I actually found this one at my comic shop. I can't believe it. It was still like in a back issue. This one actually can command quite a bit of money. Love this Yasmin Future cover. Um, another one that recently just came out is this Uncanny X-Men number, what number is this? Number 16, Yasmin Future variant. This glare is killing this video. God damn. Anyway, there you go. That's my fault for using my life. Anyway, Uncanny X-Men number 16. Yeah, it's been putri. Stoked to have that one. And then I was all like, what did Yasmin do that was like super popular? And I remember it was Carnage. So I, again, went back, tried to check some Carnage stuff. Now this is not a Yasmin Putri cover right here. Uh, this one I think is Clayton Crane. So this is a Clayton Crane cover, but the reason I'm showing you this is because it actually came with this and number three, which is the Yasmin Putri, and this one goes for money. I actually, this book itself usually commands around 40, 50, sometimes even higher. I found both of these for uh, a setup for $40, which I thought was a really, really great deal. So I got the uh, Carnage Clayton Crane, and I got the Yasmin Putri Carnage number three. Um, like I said, this book alone usually commands money, but to find both of them for about, I think it was $40. Yeah, it was $40. To find both of them for $40, can't go wrong, right? So super, super, super stoked. So believe it or not, we're actually at the last batch of books. And I think just because it just happened recently, it's probably the, the most excited I am with this whole, <laughs> this whole comic call. And, uh, like I said, if you stuck it out to the whole thing, thank you so much. If you actually had to come back, keep on coming back, um, and you finally finished it, thank you as well. Um, uh, greatly appreciate it. I haven't done a large comic book haul in a while, so this is actually kind of fun, but yeah, we're almost done. So last night, um, what is today? Today's the 26th. So on the 25th at night, I decided to visit a comic shop that's very close to me. And I went to a part of the comic shop that I never really went to, but the owner was kind of telling me about two, three weeks ago that they have a lot of um, sets, you know. So what they do is they'll put books in sets and then they'll put them in a big plastic bag, wrap it up, and they'll sell the complete sets for X amount of money. And so I decided, you know what, I'm also going to check out those sets because I've never actually checked out, checked them out. So while I was back there, it, like I said, I've never been to that part of the store. Uh, while I was back there, um, I did find a lot of My Little Pony variants, but not the one that I was looking for. 
Um, I know, it sounds weird, but My Little Pony something friendship number one variant, that's a $500 book, guys. So trust me, I'm looking for My Little Pony books. Um, but when, while I was there, I did find this Danger Girl number four. This is a uh, variant. Found this one for $3.99. This is about a $15, $20 book. So uh, sold, I don't know, sold probably is cheaper, but people are asking $15 to $20 on this one. So this is Danger Girl, what did I say? Number four. All right, so now on to the sets. So the first set I found, I found it for $9. And um, I know there's a lot of hype on the character right now because of all the announcements that's been going on. And so I figure, you know what? If he's got a solo story or something, or a four-part story, I might as well pick it up. So, I found Black Knight, number one of four. So I found all four, like seriously high grade. Like, I guess because of how they pack it, and you know, they probably did this packing like a while ago. Um, you know, and not a lot of people buy these sets. So I guess the way they were done, like, all of these books were kept in really high grade. So Black Knight number one of four, two of four, three of four, and number four of four. I actually kind of want to read this since it's only a four part series. But um, yeah, found all that set for $9. I think this book alone commands 25. I'm not saying they sell at 25. But I know people are asking right around 25 just for this book alone. So definitely happy to have that one. Um, the next set I found, the next set I found, so um, it was a Vengeance set. And what I saw was this. And if you know what I'm talking about, you probably already know uh, what book I'm going to show. Because it's actually got a first appearance of a character that's kind of, again, it's always been popular, but it's been garnishing more and more heat. It's been uh, slightly more sought after. So what I saw, like I said, they wrapped up in this plastic. What I saw was this. And then there was a sticker that said complete set. So this is Vengeance, number six to six. Oh, and the cool thing is they're all Delato covers. All Delato covers. So yeah, number six to six with the Doom. Uh, number five of six with Red Skull. Number four of six with Loki. God, you gotta love the lotto. Number three of six with Doc Ock. Number two of six with Bullseye. And that's right. So, like I said, I found the whole set for $23. And there was number one. First appearance of America Chavez with the Delato Magneto cover. Now there is a variant for this that is way more, like cost way more, way more sought after. But anytime I can find a first appearance, especially of America Chavez, super, super, super stuck. $23. <clears throat> now, the reason I found the Black Knight and this is because of all, it's because of the first lot that I found. So like I said, I went to that section and what I found was a complete set of this and I just lost my freaking mind as soon as I saw this book and it said complete set now this is the enemy within number one of five part one of five now for you guys that already know where I'm going with this you guys are probably gonna lose your well not lose your mind but you will probably understand why I'm stoked right because this, the lot, the uh, the set, the complete set, cost me seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. I actually put it on Instagram. There's a complete set of the Enemy Within storyline. So there is number one, number two of five, number three of five. number four of five and yeah if you already know what i'm talking about <laughs> that's right 17 dollars captain marvel number 14. Damn! first appearance of kamala khan also part five of five of the enemy within 
as soon as I saw that complete set of the enemy within for $17, I called my wife. I lost my shit. <laughs> I, I called the guys at 9.2 crew. I texted them. Um, I just could not believe it. Easily, easily a 9.6, high potential 9.8. Um, I think raw copies now, people are asking $250 for this book. Raw copies. That's not even great. So yeah. Anyway, that was my haul. Thanks for sticking it out. I know it was a long one. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thanks for sticking it out. Uh, thanks for joining us in 9.2 Crew. Don't forget the discount code for 789comics.com, uh, which is 9.2 Crew. <laughs> All together, one word. Don't separate it. And... Um, other than that, thanks for joining. All right. Hope you had fun. Shoots and mahalos.